Well, I'm about to go out and check my beehives. Um, I know one of them died um, about late January. The second one looks like it probably died just three weeks ago. I'm gonna find out what's going on inside and uh, do a post-mortem. Well, I fed my bees a patty, low protein patty, about three, four weeks ago. And apparently they all came to it and never returned to the lower frames um, to utilize the honey that I hope they still have down there. But I suspect uh, maybe they didn't. We're going to find out in a minute. So these are the frames from a super. You can sell, see that... Um, there's no honey in them. This is the top super. Uh, what I see instead are some bees Looking like they were looking for every last ounce of uh, energy or sustenance they could get And it's not there. You can see all the bees kind of buried in to those frames So we're gonna keep going down and see what we get now I'm looking at the next super and you can see all these dead bees on top as well. I Think we're gonna find empty comb in there as well. We'll check. Well, I've just removed two supers now onto the third super and as you can see there's bees all over top of that one amazingly bees were throughout the entire hive uh, they weren't all just at the top uh, goes to show how strong this hive had been it just didn't have enough honey i guess it was a very very long winter probably at least six months without them being able to collect any pollen uh this is interesting it looks like i'm seeing some larvae in here as if the queen started laying eggs after i put that pollen patty in and it was a low protein patty uh, and we can even look down here in this next frame i see what looks like a, a more partially constructed uh larva and you can see some right in here very interesting so you can see here the queen was starting to lay eggs um, there's no food. Uh, that pollen that I gave her, um, pollen patty, probably was enough to kind of stimulate her. Unfortunately, this winter has been the winter from hell, and uh, they just didn't have anything around here to uh, supplement them while she started to lay eggs. So I suspect the queen is laying there in the center of that mass of bees. I'll, I'm gonna try to find her if I can. And here's the bottom screen board. Looks like all the bees tried to get out, couldn't get out. Had a one inch opening in front of the hive. Um, but I think maybe as they died off during the winter, um, they just couldn't keep up with it. And then maybe they were all trying to get out toward the end and, and couldn't. A lot of bees in this hive. Unbelievable how strong it was. And sadly, the winter was just too harsh, too cold, too snowy, and way too long. So I've cleaned out the entire hive, um, brushed it down. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just put the brood box back together. Um, I'm gonna debate here if I'm going to put new frames in um, just with foundation wax or use these existing frames. I'm getting two um, packages of Russian hybrid bees here on uh, the end of April. And we'll see what we're gonna do here. But for now, I will say, the hive was nice and dry. There was no moisture buildup. So my method for um, keeping the dry, the hive warm and dry seems to work. The problem is just not enough food for such a long period of time. Well, that's it. Both hives are cleaned out and are ready um, for a couple of new packages of Russian hybrids here in a couple of weeks. Probably will replace the frames. I actually have a couple of new brood boxes too. I may wind up swapping out the brood boxes as well. Um, but sad, really, really, particularly the white hive it has been my first hive and it's been going strong for the past three years and to lose it, uh, literally after winter was technically over, uh, is a little sad. So anyways, um, hopefully we can get these hives back and running again and, um, next year be able to maybe harvest some honey. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you like this video, make sure to click on it and subscribe to the Home Edition Plus channel.